after, uh, let me think, 17 years, I'm finally switching from a Mac. No, I have to be precise. I'm upgrading my setup from a Mac-only setup to Mac and PC. And the question is, can you actually work in both worlds in one company? I'm the only one in the company editing video material, but I'm collaborating with external people. The rest of the company is focused on consulting and project management jobs. We're working like an agency or a consultancy. Project work, a little bit internally, a little bit externally. The whole company is completely managed via the cloud. You don't need anything to work for us on your computer, except for, and this is the point, my editing software for the video. And I used to edit, on Final Cut Pro 10, which is perfect for editing 4K material on a Mac. It's impressive. Even on an 11 inch MacBook, you can edit 4K material, but you wanna improve your editing to the next level, which I wanted to do. That's why I switched to Premiere Pro. Animations, easier with text, color grading. So there are many reasons why you would upgrade to Premiere, especially most of the creative people work with it and you can easily send back and forth the project file. Then this device becomes really slow. We bought the best pieces you can buy for fast editing, not for gaming, for fast editing. So we were building that device custom made. So let's have a look at the pieces and uh, then do a little speed testing. Our PSU, the processor, a very, very fast SSD, the RAM, more than enough for video editing, 8K or 16K. I like 16K, <laughs> to be clear, on a red you shoot 8K, which is already like far out. The water cooling unit for the processor. Why not water cooling? Your new graphic card, last but not least, the motherboard, all components combined. Is it working? Yes. Nice. <laughs> Just need to be patient and you can see it from the positive side at least you you're able to work with your hands when you do usually cloud work all the time that's how you see it right okay we're we're, we're still in the process uh, it's uh, almost three hours later but he's almost ready as I heard just the cooling for the CPU. But I just have to press a button in the end, right? Uh, yes. Okay, that sounds good. I will give it a try as soon as I'm back. Okay, talk to you later. So this is a couple of days later. We have the computer down here. It's very quiet because we have this luxury water cooler system running. And we now have a quiet, big movie actually to render. It's about 12 minutes long. Usually my movies are like three to five minutes long. And the rendering on the MacBook Pro takes 45, 50, 60 minutes in a length like that. And now we have quite some effects, lots running, color grading, two, no, three audio tracks, two cameras. Let's see how long that takes. Export. Okay, so this is 1.4 gig. So that's quite a big video, definitely. 1.4 gig. And I'm starting rendering now. Okay, honestly, this is like four minutes left. This is incredible. This is honestly incredible. Okay, no, but I'm honestly impressed. Premiere Pro is much better on a PC, at least on such a powerful PC. So let's see the last four minutes. If the PC does not crash, this is great. Ah, camera still working. Yes. So it went so fast, I actually missed the point when it was finished. So I finished a couple of seconds later. 13 minutes. A video in that size, that's nothing. 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 You can tell I'm pretty amazed by that, I'm happy. <laughs> My Mac friends here, Mac, 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 Mac. There is no PC versus Mac anymore. It's PC and Mac. It doesn't matter anymore. This is my biggest learning after a couple of weeks working with that device. One thing that Apple really got right is keyboards. So can you see how flat that is? This is an Apple keyboard 
I love these keyboards. They're so fast. Once you're used to that, you get very fast in typing, very fast with the keyboard shortcuts and you still need them. So this is what Apple definitely got right. The PC keyboard and you need a PC keyboard because the layout is a little bit different than on the Mac to use a lot of like three finger shortcuts if you don't use a PC keyboard on a PC. That's why I have that. If you're a gamer, if you're a professional, share it with me. Let me know what I can use for editing as well. If that's your problem, I know the devices are so different to compare here. It's not an issue anymore if you have the whole setup in your company right and if you get rid of the bias you have in your mind, don't get stuck with that thinking. It will make your company much more productive and I even think much more creative in being able to use any tool they want and then focus on the creation, not on the tool.